Money isn't just about numbers, it's also about psychology. How we think about money, our attitudes towards it, and our financial behaviors are deeply influenced by psychological factors. In today's video, we delve into the intricate web of emotions, biases, and decision-making processes that shape our financial lives. Let's jump in. Emotions and money are intimately intertwined, shaping our financial behaviors and decisions in profound ways. Fear can lead to irrational decisions during market downturns, prompting panicked selling when it's often wiser to stay the course. Greed can make us chase risky investments or indulge in extravagant spending beyond our means. Overconfidence can lead to overtrading or underestimating financial risks. Understanding the emotional component of money is essential for making rational choices. Positive emotions like joy and accomplishment can accompany financial successes, reinforcing prudent behaviors. However, negative emotions such as stress, anxiety, and shame often accompany financial challenges, influencing our choices. Recognizing the emotional triggers that impact our financial decisions is a crucial step in achieving financial well-being. Developing emotional intelligence and mindfulness around money can help us make more rational choices, set realistic financial goals, and cultivate a healthier relationship with our finances. By acknowledging and managing our emotions, we can navigate the complex terrain of personal finance more effectively, ultimately working towards financial security and peace of mind. Behavioral biases play a significant role in our financial decision-making, often leading us to make choices that are less than rational. These cognitive biases are systematic patterns of deviation from norm or rationality in judgment, often a result of mental shortcuts and emotional influences. For instance, the availability heuristic causes us to rely on readily available information when making decisions, even if it's not the most relevant or accurate data. Confirmation bias makes us seek out information that supports our existing beliefs, potentially blinding us to contrary evidence. Loss aversion leads us to fear losses more than we value equivalent gains, influencing us to avoid risk even when it may be beneficial. Understanding these biases is crucial for becoming a more informed and rational financial decision maker. By recognizing the cognitive shortcuts and emotional triggers that lead to biased choices, we can take steps to mitigate their effects. This may involve seeking diverse perspectives, gathering comprehensive information, and consciously challenging our preconceived notions. Behavioral biases are a fundamental aspect of the psychology of money, and addressing them is key to making more rational, informed, and ultimately better financial decisions. Delayed gratification is another fundamental concept in personal finance and life in general. It refers to the ability to resist the temptation of an immediate reward in order to receive a more substantial or enduring benefit in the future. This concept underscores the importance of sacrificing short-term pleasures for long-term gains, a crucial skill in achieving financial success. Individuals who practice delayed gratification tend to be better at setting and achieving financial goals because they prioritize future financial security and wealth accumulation over impulsive spending. One of the most famous studies illustrating delayed gratification is the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment, in which young children were offered one marshmallow immediately or two marshmallows if they could wait for a short period. The ability to delay gratification was found to correlate with better life outcomes, including higher SAT scores, lower rates of substance abuse, and improved financial stability. Delayed gratification manifests in actions like saving for retirement instead of spending on luxuries, paying down high-interest debt before making non-essential purchases, and investing in assets that grow over time. Cultivating this skill involves discipline, patience, and a clear understanding of one's financial goals and priorities. Ultimately, mastering delayed gratification is a cornerstone of building wealth and achieving long-term financial well-being. Risk tolerance is a fundamental aspect of personal finance and investment, representing an individual's willingness and ability to withstand the uncertainty and potential loss associated with financial decisions. Understanding your risk tolerance is crucial because it influences the types of investments you choose and how you allocate your assets. Risk tolerance is not a one-size-fits-all concept. It varies from person to person based on factors like financial goals, time horizon, and emotional temperament. Generally, Risk-tolerant individuals are more comfortable with the idea of taking on higher levels of risk in exchange for the potential of higher returns. They are often willing to invest in assets like stocks or real estate, which can be volatile in the short term but have historically provided strong long-term growth. On the other hand, 
risk-averse individuals prioritize capital preservation and are less willing to endure significant fluctuations in the value of their investments. They tend to favor safer options like bonds or savings accounts, even if the potential returns are lower. It's essential to align your investment strategy with your risk tolerance to ensure that you're comfortable with your portfolio's ups and downs. A mismatch between risk tolerance and investment choices can lead to anxiety, impulsive decisions, and potentially harmful financial outcomes. Financial goals serve as the guiding stars of your financial journey, providing direction, motivation, and a sense of purpose in your financial life. These goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, ensuring that they are well-defined and attainable. Setting financial goals can range from short-term objectives like creating an emergency fund or paying off credit card debt to long-term aspirations like purchasing a home, funding a child's education, or achieving financial independence in retirement. Financial goals help you prioritize your spending and saving, making it clear where your resources should be allocated. They act as a roadmap, guiding your financial decisions and keeping you on track, especially during challenging times or when faced with temptations to overspend. Additionally, they provide a sense of accomplishment and motivation as you work towards achieving each goal, creating a positive feedback loop that encourages responsible financial behavior. To set effective financial goals, it's crucial to consider your current financial situation, your desired lifestyle, and your time horizon. Having well-defined financial goals is the cornerstone of prudent financial planning. They not only help you measure your progress but also give you a sense of purpose and control over your financial future. Let's talk about money mindset. Money mindset refers to your beliefs, attitudes, and thoughts about money. It's the mental framework through which you view and interact with financial matters. This mindset is often influenced by your upbringing, experiences, and cultural background. A healthy money mindset is crucial for making sound financial decisions and achieving financial well-being. A positive money mindset fosters a healthy relationship with money encouraging habits like saving, investing, and responsible spending. It focuses on financial growth, wealth building, and financial independence. It's about seeing money as a tool for achieving your goals and providing security and opportunities. Conversely, a negative money mindset can hinder your financial progress. This mindset might be characterized by beliefs of scarcity, where you constantly worry about not having enough money or view money as a source of stress. It may lead to impulsive spending, excessive debt, and missed opportunities for financial growth. Cultivating a positive money mindset involves understanding your financial values, setting clear financial goals, and regularly examining and challenging any negative beliefs about money. It's about fostering financial self-awareness and aligning your thoughts and behaviors with your financial objectives. By developing a healthy money mindset, you can pave the way for a more positive and prosperous financial future. Peer influence, also known as social or peer pressure, is a powerful force that can significantly impact your financial decisions and behaviors. It's the subtle or overt influence exerted by your social circle, friends, family, or colleagues on how you manage your money. This influence can manifest in various ways, such as the desire to keep up with the spending habits of friends or the pressure to conform to certain financial norms within your peer group. Peer influence can lead to both positive and negative financial outcomes. On the positive side, it can motivate you to adopt responsible financial behaviors if your peers are savers, investors, or budget-conscious individuals. It can create a supportive environment where you collectively work towards financial goals. However, peer influence can also be detrimental when it encourages excessive spending, lifestyle inflation, or the pursuit of material possessions beyond your means. The fear of missing out on social activities or purchases can lead to impulsive financial decisions. Recognizing and managing peer influence is essential for sound financial decision-making. It's crucial to strike a balance between enjoying social experiences and maintaining financial discipline. Setting clear financial boundaries, communicating openly about your financial goals with peers, and seeking out like-minded individuals who share your financial values can help you navigate the potentially tricky waters of peer influence and maintain a financially healthy lifestyle. Financial therapy is a holistic approach to personal finance that combines financial planning with emotional support and psychological insights. It acknowledges that financial well-being is not just about the numbers but also about emotions, behaviors, and beliefs surrounding money. A financial therapist, often a licensed therapist with specialized training in financial issues, 
works with individuals or couples to explore the emotional aspects of their financial decisions. This form of therapy can help individuals identify and address the root causes of their financial challenges. It delves into issues such as money-related stress, anxiety, compulsive spending, or financial conflicts in relationships. Through counseling and therapeutic techniques, individuals can gain a better understanding of their financial behaviors and develop healthier money habits. Financial therapy can be especially beneficial for those facing significant financial stress, undergoing major life transitions, or struggling with compulsive or self-destructive financial behaviors. It can provide tools and strategies for managing emotions related to money, making more rational financial decisions, and ultimately achieving greater financial well-being. Understanding the psychological aspects of money, from emotions and behavioral biases to peer influence and money mindsets, is a crucial part of achieving financial well-being. By recognizing and addressing these factors, you can make more informed and rational financial decisions, ultimately leading to a more secure and prosperous future. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on personal finance and wealth building. Your financial journey starts here, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. Subscribe now, and let's embark on this financial adventure together.